Yo guys, what is up? It's Teach here coming at you with another video and we are here on this new extinct, or not extinction, Genesis map. Man, I'm, you know, confused a little bit right now. I've been up most of the night trying to play some games here and my goodness, this thing is a beautiful creature. The Mega Shalon, I think is technically what it's called. Don't know for sure. Now, this thing is an absolute behemoth. It's enormous. This is a 150 perfect tame. You knock them out, that's how you tame them. I will show you a video how I knocked that one out over there. And uh, it, it, <clears throat> these things are just awesome. So let's look at the stats. First off, they have raised the stat level, I believe. I'm not entirely sure. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong about this, but I didn't change anything. And now it's 88 instead of 75. So take that for what you will. Now, let's check this out. So the health is based at 18,000. I don't know if this is a good one. Um, let's go ahead and do a spyglass check on this guy. Uh, where is... There it is. The awesome spyglass. Now, this thing is amazing. Let me show you here. So this one's not even that great. Wow. Actually, I take that back. It's got 42 points into health, so it is a pretty solid tame. <clears throat> now, look at how much their health goes up. These things are going to be absolute freaks of nature. Now, for those of you that are like, oh, you're probably playing on an uh, unofficial blah blah blah. Everything is set to official settings. This thing is a monster. 100,000 health, and I did half just in case you know you don't believe me on that. I won't even level that up anymore. Let's do some stamina. He doesn't have an oxygen stat, so he can actually breathe under the water. And look at this weight. His weight can be basically in infinitely high, which is just nuts. And then melee damage, he's got pretty good jack-up stat on that. Now, okay, he just launched me in the air. So, I do not know if <clears throat> he takes reduced damage, but this thing's an absolute freak show. He's got a bubble breath ability. So, if you go under the water, he's got two commands. One, use your tertiary command, which is like your C. And he'll dive, 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 dive. And the other command that he has is his space bar, which raises him up to the roof. Now, what I want you to notice is right now, I am inside his bubble field. So I'm actually technically breathing air. And as far as I'm aware, he permanently gives this off. Not only that, but it also pushes away aggressive tames. So that way they can't actually do anything to you. So this thing is, <laughs> it's a necessary tame. <clears throat> now... This area in this biome is actually quite small when you look at it. And the Basilos are a little bit protected by Mantas, but it's actually pretty easy to tame some Basilos on this map area. But these guys are just absolute freak shows. They're awesome. And this, this you know, it's a good sized map, but there's a normal turtle compared to him, which is just like comedic, really. I mean, look at this. Like under the water, this guy is just an absolute behemoth of a... I mean, look at the size of that thing. That's just nuts. Um, you can build on his back, and he can crawl on land. Now, I'm going to go ahead and head over towards some land. He's not super fast. This is me, like, shift and no shift. I don't tell a difference between the two, in my personal opinion. But, you know, to each their own. Now, he does do a whopping amount of damage. Let's see if I can get this bird here. There you go. So... If you can manage to hit the thing, because his hitbox is actually pretty hard to hit, 649 damage, which is a little bit chaotic, obviously. All right. So, just so you can see, he's loud as all get out, but he can climb on land. And we're going to go ahead and go off of land. Am I really stuck on that thing? That would have been hilarious. So, we're going to go ahead and go off of land. So basically this guy serves as a submarine, which is quite amazing. If you hop off, he doesn't like naturally go under the water either, which is just super cool. And you can see that he's got the ability. What was that? I have no idea what those little things are. They are moving quite fast though. Is that just like local stuff? I've never seen those before. Okay, cool. So harvest settings, you can see that he's got nothing super special on that. He can ride things, but what makes this guy so amazing is, oh, that's why I can't build right here. So you can't actually, a lot of people are like, oh, you can't build on their backs. However, there are certain zones that you can't actually build on. 
and I did just happen to be in one. So now I am out of that zone, as you can see. And I can build now. So you can actually build on his back a very large structure. And it gets just ridiculously large in structure capacity wise. All right. Oops. So these are all tech floors. Um, it looks like I'm pretty capable of building a four by. Let's go any further back. I don't think so. It looks like I can fit this four by six on his back. So you can have a very large base on this thing's back, which is really nice. Now you cannot have a single turret. You can't have any tech structure as you can see, because he doesn't count as a platform, which is unfortunate. You can't have turrets because you can't place turrets on a platform. And yes, this does include auto turrets. So you can't place any auto turrets, nor can you place X plant. So what can you do with this guy? Now, one thing I've seen some people try and do is you put down a metal structure out somewhere. And uh, because there's no flyers, without some way to get this from underneath, it'd actually be pretty hard to raid one of these things. So it's kind of cool. Now, obviously, people are going to find some ways, but they're pretty neat little structures. And you could put turrets on these guys, which is nice, those platforms over there. Um, but just so you can see... You can't put any turrets on them. You can place walls. You can place a majority of structures. You can see that I can place my uh, my smithy down if I wanted to do so. I can place down a bunch of walls. I mean, I'm not going to do this because you don't need to see me build a base, but you can build a very large base on this thing's back. You can build a little house. You saw in the commercial, they literally had a house on him, a wooden house. Um, he's only, I guess this base would only be as weak as he is. Because if you could attack him, then he's going to take some damage, and that's obviously not the best thing. Um, let's go ahead and show you something interesting. Um, if I use, let's just use narc arrows, it makes it easier. So we've got damage numbers turned on, and uh, shooting him in the head, he does take damage a little bit. And shooting him in the back, I believe he takes reduced, but we're going to find out in a minute here. Why are my damage numbers not showing up right now? Is I not turned on? Let's see if they work. Maybe I just missed. But anyways, he does have armor on him, so I'm assuming that he takes some sort of reduction in damage. Um, when I tamed that one, I just, just shot it in the head, so I suppose I should have tested it. And if you want to watch my video on actually seeing the differences, you can see. But uh, man, these things are OP. It's like a different level of OP. Because if you think about it, being able to just go down into the water is crazy. Now, the bubble breath, I haven't quite figured out yet, but he does have some form of breath that allows him to kind of like stay still and launch a whole bunch of bubbles at things. And I'm assuming this like floats things to the surface, but I'm not entirely sure. So take that for what you will. But this guy is an absolute necessity because, I mean, you can see I can fit a 6x4 on, or yeah, 4x6 technically on his back. He slides up and into that very easily. And he allows you to access all of the different types of stuff on this server, which is quite OP in my opinion. Now, he's not a speedy demon, so you're not going to be going anywhere quite fast with him. But he does get the trick done. If you're looking for speed, your best thing flying-wise is probably the space whale. Because, yeah, space whale. I don't really need to say much else. What is my Astroceratus doing? Are you trying to follow me, Astroceratus? I think he was. Oh, oh well. But, you can see, this guy is very nice because I don't even have an oxygen tank. Um, and I don't need to worry about it. And uh, that's pretty crazy. He will get you pretty much anywhere you need to go under the water, meaning that you can have some pretty awesome little hidden bases. And a lot of people are just going to need to realize that. Um, this guy does harvest things on the bottom of the ocean, so you can actually eat these things here, which is pretty awesome. And um, you add rare flowers and stuff to his inventory and rare mushrooms. I don't know why or how he's been doing that, but he does get those, so we'll have to figure that out. But other than that, this guy is absolutely necessary for this map because 
he's pretty much the only viable transport when it comes to some of these underwater things. Uh, if you have some smaller attackers like Megalodons and stuff like that, you could probably keep behind him. But this guy is an absolute monster. He's not really affected by the electricity eels, which is nice, or at least doesn't seem to be. Um, they do attack you, though, so I think you might technically get knocked off because I do have GCM on right now. Um, which I, I just can't say it enough. You need to tame one of these guys if you haven't done so already because they're pretty awesome. And he's got his little bubble breath thing. So he's just going to sit here and like blow his breath. Pretty awesome tame. And uh, there is some crazy stuff you can do with them because this ocean gets pretty deep. All right, anyways, hope this video helps you out with what you've been wondering about this guy. And um, teach out.